One of my favorite events at the Olympics is the four by 100 relay. I love watching really fast people run really fast and, and to stick to each other. But you know a few years, a few Olympics back, both the men's team and the women's team dropped the baton. We, lost, we, had the, we had the gold medal teams in both events. We were supposed to crush the competition and we dropped the batons. All those years of training, all of those miles run, and it was all lost in a few seconds when that metal baton, blink, 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 hit the track. Kind of like what's happening in the church now. You see, we are now reaping a very bitter harvest of parents who said, we don't want to teach our children about faith. We want them to make their own decisions. We want them to grow up and, and kind of think it out for themselves. And now we are seeing 60% of those who grow up in the church leave the church. I mean, it is an overwhelming number. Uh, we're seeing more and more young adults say, you know, I'm not sure I'm a Christian. What in the world's happening? Is Christianity failing? Nah. Uh, families are failing. The church is failing because we did not pour into these people's lives a substantial discipleship, a, a, a substantial understanding of who Christ is and what is he doing in the world. For most of us, discipleship is like jelly on the bread, okay? Uh, the bread's already made. Uh, it's already been toasted. The bread's not going to change, but the, the jelly makes it a little sweeter, okay? That's the way we see discipleship. We've already made all our decisions. They're already baked in. They're toasted all in there. But now we're just going to lay a little Jesus on top, and it's going to make everything a little sweeter. But it doesn't change the essence of the bread. And if you turn that bread the wrong way, that jelly will slide off. And in life, your bread gets turned all kind of different ways, doesn't it? Yeah. And if you're not careful, your jelly slides off. That's what's happened to a new generation. The jelly has slid off the toast. You see, what we're looking for when we talk about discipleship is a worldview. We want you to think like Jesus Christ. We want you to see the world the way Jesus sees the world. We want you to act in the world the way that Jesus sees the world. All disciplines do this. Uh, if you're going to be an engineer, they'll talk to you about think like an engineer. If you're going to be a Marine, they'll tell you this is how a Marine thinks. This is how a Marine acts. And no matter what else is going on in the world, this is what a Marine does. That's what we're talking about in discipleship to create in you this person of purpose and passion and thoughtfulness and direction that is as Jesus is, that thinks like Jesus so that Jesus is who you are, so that Jesus is how you do. You see, what happens, no matter how well you run the race, you're part of the race, if you drop the baton, you lose everything. I understand how important this moment is. If we now in this church drop the baton for the next generation, we'll lose the whole race. I'm going to give you about 60 seconds to think about it, and I'll see you Monday.